I'm Eric Simpson with Foodie Body, keeping it simple. Today we're going to talk about how to raise your IQ by 10%. A study in the Journal of Nutrition looked at 5,400 children aged 6 to 16 with two diets, one with high saturated fat and one with low saturated fat. The study spanned economic, marital, family, and race. As cholesterol increased, digit span scores decreased by 10.8%. One of many examples are that high saturated fat and cholesterol contribute towards ADHD. Ritalin, Adderall, and Focalin sales have surpassed the $20 billion mark recently. What is an opioid? Opioid peptides are peptides that bind to opioid receptors in the brain. Famous drug opioids are morphine and oxycodone. Some brand names of these chemical-based opioids are oxycontin, Paladone and Vicodin. Recent data suggests that the national overdose death from heroin has spiked from 2 to 12,000 over the last decade. However, the illegal opioid data does not even scratch the surface compared to the legal opioid epidemic, raising cholesterol to levels that cause cancer, cognitive impairment, and heart disease. What in the world did he just say? Let's keep it simple. And now, meet Jason Amaral. He is the face of the epidemic. He grew up in the Boston suburb of Arlington, Massachusetts, went to high school there, and then on to college, where he became an addict. He could be your child, or the kid next door. In the shadow of death, Jason's journey. Real quick. Is this good enough, dude? Your eyes open, you think about heroin. Nothing else, nothing else. And any addict that's watching this will like, will attest to that. And if you don't have money, you're thinking about how to get money to get heroin immediately. Jason Amaral's hunt for heroin began at 7.30 in the morning on a brisk day in downtown Boston. All right, I'll see you there in like five minutes. He allowed our cameras to follow him as he tried to get money to get high. I have to get my money at Western Union, but you saved me a little. All right, I don't give a I'll go with you to wherever, buddy. I don't get Are you serious? Come on. I'm, oh, yeah, don't answer your phone, you f***ing dumb. From a parking garage, he called his Aunt Beth in Florida begging for cash. Can you send me $30? Believe me, like, this is the last time I'm doing this to you. If I got that, this doesn't work this time. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I just did some heroin, and I was sick. And I just did a shot, and I'm very, very high. Like, And I feel great, and I'm going to go do what I need to do to make money. You know what I mean? By then, his best friend, Mike Duggan, arrived. What's up? You ready to do this? Mike is a recovering addict who's been clean seven years and was taking Jason to rehab the next morning. It's life and death. Like, you will die if you don't get it this time. You know what I mean? Like... Let's look at this in business. Follow the money. A typical grocery store layout has a rule. Where do you put the addictive drugs? You put the milk or the heroin in the back. Then the customers are forced through the entire store and they make more money. Why sell heroin when you can sell milk? Got milk? What does the data say? Foodie Body RCT trials suggest LDL cholesterol levels drop 10 to 17 percent within 30 days, dramatically reducing the risk of heart disease and beta amyloid buildup in the brain neuron pathways. Learn more at foodiebody.com. That's F-O-O-D-I-E body.com. I'm Eric Simpson with Foodie Body, keeping it simple.